Yeah, you know what this video is about. Patrick Kane is not officially, but it has been announced that Patrick Kane is going to the New York Rangers for a 2023 second round pick that can turn into a first round pick if the Rangers make the conference finals and a 2023 fourth round pick. It got to a point where the Rangers could not say no. Patrick Kane forced his way to New York. And as a Ranger fan, I have so much to talk about this. I'm going to try to keep this video within 10 minutes, but I got my hat on. I got my Ranger sweatshirt you with the smile. I mean, like, there's so much to smile about right now. It's just so hot in my room. But Patrick Kane is a New York Ranger. And this has been brewing for so long. Everybody knew Patrick Kane was going to leave Chicago unless they were contending, which they were not going to be. Chicago is one of the worst teams in the league, and they are clearly selling. But Patrick Kane is going to be a free agent at the end of the year, and the Rangers have gotten him for the rest of the season. And so first thing to talk about, Chris Drury. Chris Drury, when he came in as Rangers DM, I had some questions about him, and he answered pretty much every one of them. In the two years that Chris Drury is GM, the Rangers made the Eastern Conference Finals last year. And this year, they brought in both Vladimir Tarasenko and Patrick Kane for a first-rounder, a second-rounder, a fourth-rounder, Sammy Blay, and, a, and um, Hunter Skinner, who's a prospect, not even a top-ten prospect in the system. The New York Rangers are coming for it all this year, and we knew this. And Patrick Kane to the Rangers has been brewing for a while due to his friendship with Artemi Panarin. That's also why Tarasenko came to the Rangers, apparently. And everybody knows what Patrick Kane brings. He is the best American forward to ever play the game of hockey. He is the first American ever to win the Art Ross Trophy, which means the most points in the league. He's, he has 43 points in 47 games this year. He is the entire package. He's not the best two-way forward, but the Rangers keep upgrading offensively. Everybody knows what Patrick Kane brings. Now, here's a few things about the Kane trade. So when the Rangers traded for Vladimir Tarasenko a few weeks ago, a lot of people thought they were out of the running. They were not out of the running. A lot of when the Rangers approached the Blackhawks a few weeks ago, the asking price was clearly too high. The Blackhawks wanted Alexi Lafreniere, Capo Caco, one of these kids on the featured kid line. And the Rangers didn't want to give that up because they're going to extend Lafreniere. They're going to extend Philip Heedle. And they're, they have extension on Capo Caco. But Patrick King was upset when the Rangers traded for Tarasenko. The Tarasenko asking price was too was perfect for the Rangers. They made their splash. But it wasn't the only splash they made. Patrick Kane wanted to be one place and one place only, and that was New York. He considered Toronto, but he has no move clause. No move clause, and it shows in the NHL how you could have players demand where they want to go, and they'll go there. This is very similar to James Harden. Uh, the Nets did not get the return they wanted. But let's keep going. Patrick Kane. Um, what does he bring? Offensive monster. Uh, he's really been on the heater lately. Eleven points of the last nine games, including seven goals. He's going to slot in right in the line with Vincent Trocek and Artemi Panarin. So look at the Rangers forward core right now. Line one, Chris Kreider, Mika Zibanejad, Vladimir Tarasenko. Line two, Artemi Panarin, Vincent Trocek, and Patrick Kane. Line three, the kids line with Hedl, Kako, and Lafreniere. And the fourth line of Tyler Mott, Jimmy VC, and Barkley Goudreau is a good one. And that's a Rangers core that might be the most talented team in the league right now. And now they, with Patrick Kane, Everybody knows that they're a cup contender. They were a cup contender before this. They have to be considered one of the cup favorites right now. One of the problems with this is the East. The Eastern, the NHL is very asymmetric this year. The six best teams in the NHL are all in the Eastern Conference, and I feel very confident saying that. Boston Bruins are going to win the President's Trophy. The Toronto Maple Leafs are loading up. Just got Sam Lafferty and Jake McCabe. Tampa Bay Lightning, three-time Stanley Cup appearances, three straight. And then look at the Metropolitan Division. The Carolina Hurricanes, so talented. Just got Jesse Pugliarvi. New Jersey Devils just got the best person on the market, probably, in Tebow Meyer. And the Rangers got Kane and Tarasenko. Those are the six best teams in the East, and they are the six best teams in the NHL, too. So it is going to be a bloodbath. More on Kane. Um, Gerard Gerlant has a lot of toys to play with. Where's Kane going to slot in? Well, we know he's going to slot in on the line with Artemi Panarin due to his, his, their, their brotherly love. Artemi Panarin's first ever NHL goal was against the Rangers in 2015, coming from Patrick Kane. And they uh, Patrick Kane was upset when um, Artemi Panarin got traded to the Columbus Blue Jackets. Now, the question is the power play. The, the Rangers have so many weapons that they could use on this power play. They have um, our power play one right now is Pat is Vladimir Tarasenko, Mika Zibanejad, Artemi Panarin, Chris Kreider, and Adam Fox. Now you have Kane. Where do you put him? You, it, it's hard, um, but it's a, it's a good problem to have. And the Rangers, yeah, it, there's really so much to talk about. And I'll have more about this on trade deadline day. I wanted to get this video out now.
but this is a quick one. The New York Rangers got Patrick Kane. This is my really raw thoughts, as you could tell. They're coming for it all this year and more to come. So let's go Rangers.